we're bringing you an update. We covered this initially, charges have now been dropped ironically against a woman who falsely claimed that a male was in fact being harmful. We're gonna go to the video and then I will give you the background. Here it is. No, it doesn't make me feel good uptown. I'm hey, calling, yeah, 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 yeah. go to uptown. Don't call me that. Go to uptown now. You're making me uncomfortable. I'll call the cops. Call them, call them, call them. Go to right uptown, now. stop call it. Call them. No, call I want them. this man to go to uptown. You call them. Go to uptown, dude. You call I'm them. Not. Let's see who's going to get off. This wasn't all. This is not my home. And I literally pulled over in the middle of the sidewalk and won't drive me home. No. No, there's nothing happening. Are you? Can you open the door? Get me out! I can't leave. It's not opening, you dumb. I'm. Please send the police, a black man has punched me. Please send the police, put up the picture. It's so sad. Jill Burquist was initially charged after screaming racial slurs at a black Uber driver, Wesley Gakuo. Then calling the Minneapolis Police Department to falsely accuse him of physical assault. Here's what happened after the video ended. Ms. Burquist made no request for emergency medical personnel. And when police arrived, they saw no signs that she was physically hurt. Even though she claimed the Uber driver, that the driver struck her on the left side of her face. The driver was not cited. Statements from both parties, both the driver and Burquist spoke with Minnesota Star Tribune. Burquist admitted that she should have never called the driver racial slurs, but did not back down from her claims that he held her down and hit her. The mother also chimed in and said her daughter, quote, didn't do anything wrong. Adding that the driver, quote, did not take the designated route to the home. The driver's 47 told the Star Tribune that he was never experienced, he has never experienced a racist verbal outburst since moving to Minnesota. He's originally from Kenya, but moved to the States in 1999. He also said he doesn't hold any hard feelings against Burquist. Let me go to the charges. It took Burquist more than a year to be charged because prosecutors did not learn of the incident until this past May. Burquist, 38 years of age, was initially charged with falsely reporting a crime and disorderly conduct. That means that the police did not do it, okay? Um, And uh, both of those are misdemeanors. However, the Minneapolis City Attorney's Office dropped her first charge of falsely reporting a crime and has yet to say why. Her first court appearance was on July 11th. And her court date is actually set for September 20th. Put up the picture of the city attorney. Kristen Anderson is the Minneapolis city attorney. Now, Kristen, in situations like this, when you have what we call overwhelming public interest, typically there's a, well, let's just say a massaging 
of the information. We don't like that. There's a spin of the narrative. We don't like that either. And so people like myself and others, we work hard to get to the truth. This energy does not have to be dispensed in such a way if you simply provide the evidence up front or explanation as to why things were dropped. We can save the back and forth and simply deal with the facts of your actions. We will continue to stay on this until there is full adjudication because what she did could have could have gotten this man killed. He could have died. And until we start dealing with these things as they are presented, we will always have a significant in equity as it relates to law enforcement and community. My dear sister thoughts. Yeah, it's a crime to place a false 911 call, but we know how often things go awry before that caller can even be held accountable. A lot of times by time that accountability is even there, it's already too late. So this type of behavior needs to be discouraged from happening in the first place. The laws that already exist against it need to be enforced. People who do things like this need to know that they will not be protected for their bad behavior, but they're never gonna know if they keep getting off. There you go.